Hello and welcome to another episode of Tractor Bob's Tractor Reviews. Today we will be going over the Yanmar Brahma and similar to a couple weeks ago when we went over the Solus 24, this guy is brand new, uh, brand new to the United States as well and um, we're one of the first dealerships to be carrying them and I'm super excited to share with you this product today. We just got this in the shop about a week or two ago. Let's talk a little bit about the Brahma and then we'll go into the specific specifications of this UTV. Unlike the Yanmar Bull and Longhorn series, every single detail is oriented toward getting jobs done on your farm, on your hunting land, uh, on whatever property it is that you might have, or whatever company that you're gonna be using it for. It's really geared more towards our customers than the old Yanmar Bull and Longhorn series. Not to say that those weren't great products, they certainly were, but they didn't have a Yanmar engine in them, or they don't have a Yanmar engine in them, we're actually still selling them. Uh, they don't have a Yanmar engine in them, they were based off the Yamaha Viking, uh, where these are kind of in a category of their own. Uh, they're a diesel engine, and they have the Yanmar three-cylinder in them. There is a company in Europe that, to my knowledge, Yanmar actually owns, and it's gonna be almost identical to this. It's even gonna have, actually it will be identical, except it's the main color on it is orange, and uh, it will have a Yanmar three-cylinder uh, liquid-cooled diesel engine in it as well. So if you're watching this Yanmar Brahma video and you're in Europe, uh, then it's actually gonna be really the same thing, except it's not gonna have that Yanmar sticker on it. It's gonna have like the Cornix, uh, uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll drop the name over here if I'm getting it wrong, but I believe it's Cornix. Um, so anyways, that's just to touch base a little bit on this product and kind of where it's coming from and why there's nothing on it up to date and why we're one of the first people to be putting out a video on it. It's because we're one of the first people to have it. Without going into any more detail, let's get started on reviewing the Yanmar Brahma. Okay, so we're gonna have a wheelbase of 88.1 inches, a ground clearance of 12.2 inches, so a lot of ground clearance. The weight for the semi-cab version, which is what we have here, is gonna be 1,848 pounds, and the weight for the canopy version is gonna be 1,776 pounds. So our total suspension travel on this guy is gonna be 10.6 inches, and then our bed size, lastly, is gonna be 52.8 inches wide, 47.4 uh, inches long and 11.8 inches deep. So a very generous bed here that you have. And as you can see, there's all these tie down spots. So our front and rear tires are both R14 rated and our front ones are 26 by nine and our rears are 26 by 11. Let's talk a little bit about the engine on the Yanmar Brahma. So, this is going to be an inline three-cylinder Yanmar liquid-cooled diesel engine. It's going to have a bore stroke ratio of 74 by 77. That's going to be almost identical to the Yanmar uh, 24 horsepower tractors, the 324 and the 424 series. The only difference is going to be the bore is going to be 74 on the Yanmar Brahma, and it's going to be 80 on the Yanmar 324 and 424. Um, I don't know exactly why they did that, uh, maybe to change the torque ratio or something like that. Um, however, it could be just to fit it into the, the space that they needed to fit it into because the overall dimensions on this engine are actually just a little bit smaller than the overall dimensions on the 324, 424. Okay, so now let's go into the suspension and the brakes. So. On the front, we're gonna have 10.1 inches, and on the back, we're gonna have 8.1 inch, or sorry, 8.7 inch uh, twin piston brake calipers on the Yanmar Brahma. Now, as for our suspension, it's gonna be a double wishbone A-arm design, and it's gonna have a total suspension travel of 10.6 inches. So this is gonna be two wheel, four wheel selectable, and you do have a rear differential lock. Okay, so now let's go into some of the design features that come standard on the Yanmar Brahma. So here we do have the semi-cab version. The nice thing about the semi-cab version, other than the fact that it comes with this awesome uh, inlay right here that's gonna allow a door to per fit perfectly in this space that you can buy as an optional package, but it's also gonna have under seat storage. So this diesel 
UTV has more storage than any other diesel UTV on the market today. As you can see, under the seats you have some storage. Under the front hood there is storage under there. So there's a total of three storage compartments underneath the seat and they don't all connect underneath there. They're all individual. And then underneath the bed, you don't have to actually open up the bed like I've done here, but it's two large storage compartments for anything else that you might need to store down here. So as you can see, very, very good use of storage and it kind of conforms to the overall uh, body of the, of the UTV. So inside here, it's a little bit deeper at the top and a little bit shallower at the bottom. And then there's these side storage compartments right here as well for you to put any papers or whatever that you might need. Now this does all have a nice seal around it. It feels like a foam seal matched with a more polymer and rubber seal on the other side. So that's gonna seal nice and tight for you. So all of this storage is super nice to have. And the fact that all of it's sealed is even better. Now one thing I did not mention uh, yet is that there are full skid plates. The bed, the fold down is gonna be really heavy duty. You're gonna have this nice heavy duty wire rope here. And then like I said, it's all made out of steel. And the clasp is actually threaded. Okay, so we're in the Yanmar Brahma now. And the first thing that you're gonna notice when you're sitting in this is that there's no rubber mats. I'm kind of kidding, but I mean, come on, Yanmar. You put rubber mats on literally all of your tractors. Why couldn't you have given us some standard rubber mats on the Yanmar Brahma? Uh, but the real first thing that you notice is the covering of the dash. It's got this really nice, almost carbon fiber look to it, but it's a lot more textured. And um, it's obviously a plastic, but it feels really, really, really good. Uh, the next thing is going to be obviously the storage that's going to be under your seats. So over here to my right, you've got two cup holders, and you also have a place to hold your phone upright, which I really, really like. Uh, having places to put your phone in the 21st century on UTVs is an excellent idea. We all have phones. We all need some place to put them. The one thing I hate is being anxious about my phone falling out of my pocket while I'm driving. So there's two places for your phone. Now there is another compartment down here, uh, which is going to be just the right size, probably a little, a little over 11 inches, I'd say a foot, uh, to put papers, uh, your manual, um, your keys, you know, your wallet, you can put those types of things in there. Now it would be nice if it closed, but the fact that it's open uh, lends itself to, you know, you put something in there and you take it out right away. Now the next thing that's really nice about this uh, UTV is that you got two side mirrors and a rear view mirror that comes standard. The next is you're going to have a windshield wiper uh, on the semi-cab version. The non-semi-cab, the just the canopy version, doesn't have the glass in the front or in the back. Now speaking of the back, you do have this uh, tinted glass back here that's really, really nice with the Brahma logo right in the center of it. Just kind of looks cool. Uh, I can't complain about it whatsoever. Uh, it looks really, really nice and I know it's going to be a, a pleasure to have when you have that sun beaming down from behind. The steering wheel itself is going to be a really, really nice, uh, sturdy feeling steering wheel. It doesn't feel cheap whatsoever. You have the Yanmar logo right smack up there in the middle. And then right over here to your right hand side is your key insert. I'll just pull the key out and you can close uh, the compartment where the key goes. So that's going to be really nice if you have this thing in dusty weather and you have the key out. It's just going to keep the key from getting dirty. So right here in the middle is your display. And the nice thing about it is it's a digital display and a regular display. Um, your regular display is just going to be for your, uh, your speeds. And then your digital display is going to tell you what gear you're in. Uh, it's also going to tell you your fuel levels, your oil levels. It's going to tell you your hours. It's going to tell you the time of day. Uh, it's got a lot of different stuff on here for you. It'll tell you your trip. Um, so just really good stuff. And then right above the digital display, you actually have, it looks like four, nine uh, buttons that are gonna tell you whether your battery is slow, whether you need to refill your oil, whether you need to change your gas. Uh, those little notifications up there in those bubbles are gonna be really nice, easy to stand out. So right now my battery light just came on because I've had this thing kind of turned in the on position for a while. 
Oh, and then one more thing that I haven't mentioned yet is the 12 volt insert right here. Uh, that's going to be really easy for you to access. Now, if I am going to critique this UTV, uh, there are two things that kind of stick out to me when just sitting in the UTV. The one is that it doesn't come standard with rubber, rubber mats. Now, the next thing, and this is really nitpicky, and some people might even hate me for saying this, but I wish there was some USB inputs. It would be nice if they would have put like two or three USB ports um, so that you could charge multiple things. Uh, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't, and then you wouldn't even have to use this 12 volt. You could use that 12 volt open for, for other utilities that you might need. Um, so having a couple USB chargers for me would have been a really nice thing to add uh, to this UTV. Okay, so as you can see here, I have the Yanmar Brahma hooked up to a trailer uh, which has on it the Yanmar Bull Series. It's the three-seater gasoline version. Um, so this is test number two. All I'm going to do is just uh, see how this thing will tow. Uh, we're reaching about the maximum uh, towing capacity that's recommended on Yanmar's website, which is 2,000 pounds for this guy, which is quite a bit more than the towing capacity that they have rated for the Bull Series, at least 500 pounds or so. Um, now, I didn't touch on this before, but the bed capacity for the Yanmar Bull is 500 pounds, and the bed capacity for this guy is 1,000 pounds, so you also get 500 more pounds of, of bed capacity as well. I'm going to drive this thing around, uh, maybe go up some hills, Go through some mud and see how it does. Alright, so we're kind of going uphill now. now I'm going to take a turn around. This thing's handling it pretty easy. over snow right here. You can see these big ruts. Okay, now we're coming up on some mud here. Okay, so thanks for checking out this review on the Yanmar Brahma semi-cab version. Uh, really happy to be able to share this video with you guys. So as always, like and subscribe to our channel if you're interested in content like this. Until next time, my friends, God bless.